turned on brake retards apply their power whenever you let up all the way on the accelerator pad pedal pardon me what is a minimum number of tie downs you sh that you should have you should have at least two tie downs should you turn the retarder off when the road is wet or snow covered yes the retarder can cause your vehicle to skid slight melting will make ice wet what is more slippery wet ice is more slippery i suppose it means what is more slippery than ice or water saying wet ice is more slippery at dusk or dawn or in rain or snow when it's difficult for other drivers to see you you might turn on your low beam headlights okay since air pressure increases with temperature pressure pardon me since not temperature pressure but temperature increases let me just read that again since air pressure increases with temperature increases you should leave the warm tires alone since the air pressure will decrease when the tires cool off speed limits that are posted at freeways pardon me at freeway off ramps may not be safe speeds for larger vehicles or heavily loaded vehicles how do you know pardon me how do you test hydraulic brakes for a leak with a vehicle stopped pump the brake pedal three times and then apply firm pressure and then hold for five seconds when merging with other traffic you should use your mirrors to make sure the gap in the traffic is large enough for you to enter what are some steering system defects to look for Missing nuts, bolts, cotter keys, or other parts. The amount of space you need to cross or enter traffic is affected by the weight of your load. How many times more distance does it take to stop when your speed is doubled? It takes four times as much distance to stop when your speed is doubled. What are two factors in knowing when to shift? Those factors are using engine speed and road speed. If you have to stop your vehicle in the road to load cargo or passengers, you should flash your brake lights to warn drivers behind you. When do empty trucks usually require greater stopping distance? Oh, pardon me. Let me read that again. It's not when, but why. Why do empty trucks usually require greater stopping distance? Empty trucks can bounce and lock up their brakes. What is the only way to stop a front wheel skid? Let the vehicle slow down. Stop turning and stop braking so hard. What is important about the center of gravity of a load? A high center of gravity means that you are more likely to tip the vehicle over. What must you show, uh, pardon me, must you show your logbooks to officers? Must you show your logbook to officers? Yes. Before putting the tire chains on your vehicle, do you check to be sure that, let me read that again. Before putting the tire chains on your vehicle, there should be a comma there, you should check to be sure that the chains have no broken hooks or cross links or bent or broken side chains. If you think that a tire has blown out, what should you do in stopping your vehicle? Hold steering wheel firmly and don't touch the brakes until the vehicle has slowed.
What is black ice? Black ice is a thin layer of ice so clear that you can see the road underneath. As soon as you see your traffic getting, let me just read it. As soon as you see your trailer getting off of the proper backing path, you should turn the top of the steering wheel in the direction of the drift. Let me just read that one more time, starting with the beginning. As soon as you see your trailer getting off the proper backing path, you should turn the top of the steering wheel in the direction of the drift. A pre-trip inspection should be performed before each trip. When going downhill in a vehicle with an automatic transmission, you should select a low range to get greater engine braking. What are some things to do if you are being tailgated? Avoid quick changes of speed or direction. To be sure that you know what is happening on the highway ahead of you, don't focus on the mirrors too long. Exhaust system parts should not rub against fuel system parts, tires, or other moving parts of the vehicle. How do you test hydraulic brakes for their stopping action? Go about five miles per hour and then push the brake pedal firmly. A third good rule for using turn signals is if you don't have self-canceling turn signal indicators, remember to turn off the turn signal indicator after you have completed your turn. When traction is poor, such as in rain or snow, you should, uh, pardon me, how should you speed up? Very gradually. Where do you place the three reflector triangles on a divided highway? Place them all to the rear within 10 feet, 100 feet, and 200 feet. Okay, so here's the diagram. Divided, rear, 10, 100, 200 feet. How often should cargo inspections be made? After every break during driving. When driving over 40 miles per hour, how much space should you keep in, pardon me, how much space should you try to keep in front of your vehicle? At least one second for 10 feet of your vehicle plus one second. What is a vehicle condition report? A list of problems found by you. What are two of the three good rules for using your turn indicators or your turn signal indicators? Signal early and signal continuously. Before starting down a hill, you want to be sure that you are in the proper gear. You downshift before starting down the hill. How does tire pressure affect hydroplaning? Hydroplaning is more likely to occur when tire pressure is low. When should you help out other drivers by signaling that it is safe for them to pass. Never signal to let others know it is safe to pass. What is probably your best driving speed? Traffic is moving at 35 miles per hour in a 55 mile per hour zone. 35 miles per hour is probably your best driving speed. So basically it's saying match your speed to 
the flow of traffic speed, but don't go over the speed limit. What should you do if, a, if your vehicle hydroplanes? Release the accelerator and push in the clutch. To keep your vehicle from rolling back when you start up, you should partly engage the clutch before you take your right foot off of the brake. What is a good reason for knowing what the traffic is doing on all sides? You need to have enough room to change lanes or stop. What is controlled braking? Controlled braking is applying the brakes as hard as you can without locking up the wheels. Whenever you are about to pass a vehicle, pedestrian or bicyclist, you should assume that they have not seen you. Convex mirrors show a wider area than flat mirrors, but they also make everything seem farther away than it really is. What are three factors of total stopping distance with hydraulic brakes? Perception, reaction, and braking distance. When backing a trailer, you may make corrections to reposition your vehicle by pull ups. Empty buses may not require more stopping distance than loaded buses because they usually have as much braking power when empty as when loaded. Where do you place the three reflector triangles on a two-lane road? Within 100 feet of the rear, 100 feet to the rear. Pardon me, it's a mistake. The answer is within within 10 feet of the rear, 100 feet to the rear, and 100 feet from the front of the vehicle. Now here's a little diagram. Two lane, front 100 feet, rear 10 feet, 100 feet. Let me just read that question again. Where do you place the three reflector triangles on a two lane road? Within 10 feet of the rear, 100 feet to the rear, and 100 feet from the front of the vehicle. When should you use your high beams headlights? When should you use your high beam headlights? Whenever you can, providing the law allows it. In holding a steering wheel, what is the proper way to place your hands? 
firmly with your hands on opposite sides of the wheel. If you have to set out warning reflective triangles by the highway, you should hold them between yourself and oncoming traffic. What are some things to do when you are backing your vehicle? Look at your path. Back slowly and back straight back. What are some defects to look for in the suspension system? Spring hangers that are cracked or broken. When should you downshift for a curve? You should downshift before entering the curve. Besides looking for vehicles coming into your lane, Looking for traffic means, it means watching for brake lights of slowing vehicles ahead of you. What is the purpose of cargo blocking and bracing? The purpose of cargo blocking and bracing is to keep cargo from sliding and falling and getting out of balance. When you need to slow down, you may want to warn drivers behind you by tapping lightly on the brakes, on the brake pedal, to flash the brake lights. When backing a trailer, you should turn the steering wheel opposite the direction that you want to go. What is a major cause of most serious skids? Driving too fast for road conditions. Antifreeze is effective under hot conditions as well as cold conditions. What is the maximum distance between tie downs to prevent cargo shifting? To prevent cargo shifting, Tie down every 10 feet. What should you do when using a fire extinguisher to fight a fire? Aim at the base of the fire. When checking tires that are, excuse me, when checking tires, what are some problems that you should look for? Bad wear cuts or other damage, tread separation, cracked valve stems. How can you know you have the engine speed and road speed to shift gears? By using the sound of the engine to know when to shift, you know you have the engine speed and road speed to shift gears. If you are using a helper when you are backing your vehicle, the helper should agree with you as to the signal for stop, and he should stand where he can be seen by you. Wheels or rims that have been repaired by welding are unsafe or not safe. What are some items to check, especially before driving in winter weather? The coolant level, the windshield wiper level, and the antifreeze level. Besides watching the traffic behind you, you can use your rear view mirrors to watch for possible 
tire fires. What is a good policy for using your brakes when pulling off of the road? Try to avoid using your brakes until your speed has dropped to about 20 miles per hour. Should you always be looking into the distance ahead? No. You should shift your attention back and forth as well as near and far. At night, where can you look to avoid the glare of oncoming traffic? Try to look at the right side of the road and watch for the, pardon me, and watch the sidelines. Why can you never assume you will clear the heights posted at overpasses? Because some roads can cause your vehicle to tilt. How long does it take to stop a heavy vehicle going 55 miles per hour on a dry level road? About the length of a football field or six seconds or about six seconds. You wish to turn right and you must swing wide. You should turn wide as you complete the turn. Some newer vehicles have progressive shifting, which means the RPMs at which you shift become higher as you move up in the gears. You may, uh, pardon me, what may rust around the wheel nuts mean? So let me read that again. What, what may or what does rust or what does it possibly mean? What does rust possibly mean around the wheel nuts? I'll just read that as it says here. What may rust around the wheel nut mean? What it means is the wheel nut may be loose. If your vehicle is coming towards you, or probably if a vehicle is that is coming towards you has on high beams, you should. So basically it says if the vehicle that is coming towards you has its high beams on, you should keep your lights on low beam and look off to the right so you don't want to do tit for tat you don't want to if their high beams are on you don't want to turn your high beams on um okay let's go to the next one what is true about downshifting before you reach a long downhill grade downshifting helps prevent the brakes from overheating and losing braking power whether backing a straight truck or a combination vehicle, you should back and turn towards the driver's side. How often should you check your tires when driving in very hot weather? You should check your tires every two hours or every 100 miles. Because of the size of your vehicle, you may wish to flash your brake lights too. Alert drivers behind you of hazards that you see ahead. What is the purpose of brake retarders? Retarders are to help slow down the vehicle and reduce brake wear. What is a good rule as to the speed you should go when driving at night? You should be able to stop within the range of your headlights. Downshifting requires knowing when to shift. To do this correctly, you should use either a tachometer or a speedometer. In making a quick turn, what is a point to remember? Do not apply the brake when you are turning. How do you lessen the chances of having to make sudden moves to avoid hazards? Watch far enough ahead so that the hazards can be anticipated. 
Roads usually become more slippery when the temperature has risen to the point where the ice begins to melt. What should you do before you drive if you are feeling drowsy? Get some sleep. To make a right turn with a large vehicle, you may have to make the turn slowly, make the turn slowly than many non-commercial or automotive drivers would expect. So take your time. With a pressurized cooling system, you should not remove the radiator cap until the cooling system has cooled down. What is a danger when traveling alongside other vehicles? You may be trapped in your lane when you need to change lanes. How far ahead should you look when driving? You should look 12 to 15 seconds ahead of you while driving. If you are turning left, what lane should you use of two left turn lanes? Use the right hand lane. What can happen if you do not have enough weight on the steering axle? This can make the vehicle harder to steer. While making a turn, you should look in your mirrors to make sure that the rear of your trailer will not hit anything. As a commercial driver, with respect to your cargo, what are you responsible for? You are responsible for inspecting your cargo and knowing that it is securely tied down or covered. If your cargo contains any hazardous materials, you must check to see that placards are required. What is a problem that you can have when using your mirrors? There are blind spots that your mirrors cannot show you. What is the minimum amount of tread depth that your tires should have? 430 seconds of an inch on the front wheel tires and 230 seconds of an inch on all other wheel tires. <laughs> 